Oh, what is up, everybody? My name is Simocraft here. Back at you with a new video, and today we are continuing our series for Terraria. And, um, off camera, I did a little bit of stuff. Oh, and this is my brother. This is my brother. He'll be joining us for this video. Uh, oh, I really explored a planetoid, went down here in the corruption. One second. Um, yeah. You won't believe this, but with all the wind, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. That does less damage than no beam power charge shot. No. Just way. one. Yeah, I learned our spell point. Um, all beams took four charge shots to get Ripley. No. Uh, load the same restore point. Pause. Turned off all my beams. One. Took one shot to kill Ridley. You. No way. I'm sure you. Well, no. Don't show me. Don't show me. Not on camera. Alright guys, sorry for that little silence. But yeah, now we are moving over to this area. This is called the corruption. Moving over to that area blow some things up because there's some stuff there that's kind of important for later on and actually now because it'll give us the second best armor set in the game. If we can you know, get it get it all, you know. Luckily, I got my hammer, or it would be impossible. And it'd be even more impossible if I didn't have my sticky bomb suit. Because we need those bombs to break the outer layer of, like, the layer around the things that we need. What the heck? What was that? A what is that? Is that, w is that supposed to be what killed me last or something? Huh. No, it's not what killed me last. What the heck? I don't know what that is, guys. Let me know in the comments. Wh like, call it the Golden Arrow. Because I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it is. Well, I guess I just told you what to call it. I just don't know what it is. So I know how to... I said I didn't know how to call... I said I didn't know what to call it. But I just called it the golden arrow. So just call it the golden arrow. The golden pointer. Whoops. Sorry, duck. Yeah. Let me just make sure something is... Alright. I was just making sure some... Put that away... Let's go up. And yeah, I found another tree thingy. Um Hold up. I need actually I actually need to do something real quick. I need to break that. There. Now no NPCs will spawn in it cuz I don't want NPCs to spawn all the way out here. That'd just be annoying. And we are nearing the corruption. I think we're gonna grab some more of this cactus. One second. Sorry about that. I just had to close my door real quick. I just gotta head down here now. Don't you dare. Anyway, those are our targets right down there. 
We need to break them with our hammer. And then get down to them with our sticky bomb. Oh, and also, these get, these Eaters of Souls are apparently susceptible to magic attacks. Because they do way more damage than a melee weapon, it would seem. That's just what I've been told and what I'm seeing right now. So let's just throw down some sticky bombs. Ah, no. Alright, let's do this. This first one, like, they will both drop weapons and, and items and stuff. I, I got a musket and two muskets. Okay. Yeah, 34 range damage. I just need ammunition. Oh, I, I have quite a lot of it. Yeah. There are, there are firearms in this. Now, I should also get something else. Where is it? Did I not get it? Was it replaced with another musket? So I was supposed to get a shadow orb, which is supposed to follow me around and give me light. But I guess not. I'm just gonna go in here and grab uh, my recall potions and sell this and for me gold and 48 silver that's a lot according to my standards at least Gonna go in here, building stuff. Gonna grab my cacti, which are apparently near the chest, even though they're building stuff. Building supplies, you know. And go over to the workbench and craft some armor. One defense, one defense. Crap. Goggles. I don't know what those are for. Eh. Ah, they look awful. Why'd I craft them? Stop. You can have these goggles. Portable cement mis mixer. Uh, crimson cloak. Piece of vanity. Eh, let's see how it looks. What? Alright. No, I want my music box. Alright, that'll work. Get some ammo. Ooh, that's okay. I just got a pretty big lag spike. Anyway, I'm just gonna start a new house real quick. Once, oh, we got the nurse, apparently. Okay, so we got the nurse. I don't know why I didn't think of that before because, never mind, we got a crimson cloak anyway, which is a lot cooler. Or, no, not really, it's actually kind of a waste. Anyway, we need, we're gonna make two houses. Um, One for the nurse and one for the gunsmith. Because we fired that musket, a uh, new NPC is going to be coming so we can buy guns and stuff, you know. Yeah, the musket actually does quite a bit of damage. Not going to lie. Alright, hmm. alright. Now I said my brother would be joining us for the video. I meant he'd be joining us for like an eighth of the video. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, the musket is great. Especially by how accurate it is. A, a musket isn't supposed to be that accurate. Wait, if you throw a torch down, will it actually still give light? Um, that didn't work. If I throw down a torch... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, if you're wondering how you favorite items, like put a star on them so they can't be like deleted or anything, just hold alt and click on it. Alright, so let's use this new wood. And I guess we can make a two-story house for this one. Because why not, you know? Save space. And I'm going to put, like, ammunition and stuff, like, in a chest where I, like, buy him in his, in his... No, that's the nurse. The nurse I'm going to put, like, potions and stuff in. And then the weaponsmith I'm going to put ammunition, like, arrows and stuff. Yeah, I need... Uh, sure. You might be wondering why I got three of those. That's because... Of... I'm going to have... Uh, what was I going to say? Yes. Um. Okay, so the way a two-story house is going to work, it'll have the two doors here, as usual... But then more, but then platforms here and one more door leading out here. And so the second story will be a little bit smaller and this will have a balcony. Uh, um, there we go. I guess that'll work. That's big enough, right? Okay. There's those. And now two platforms. Three doors. I need I need to put that back. I don't I don't know why I broke it. Even right after I right after I said, you know, we're not going to be putting anything there. Alright. there table there table there chair there now I need to get walls yeah yeah I wish it was just easy to build in real life you know sadly it isn't I don't know why I crafted so many walls. I don't need that many walls. A meteorite. That's what I was waiting for. Now, it's not going to show up on the map. We have to actually, like, find the crater. But, like, a meteor will get us the second best armor set in the game. Or in early mode. In easy mode. Before we move on to hard mode. Post wall of flesh. I feel like it's gonna be around here in the desert. It's always in the desert. Yeah, it's going to be in the desert, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to move a few chests in here. You know, before I actually like open this place to the public. Yeah, I can't believe a meteor has already landed. It usually takes like two days. Like not even joking. Torch and the torch. There we go. Let's move from there to into here. 
Yeah, the nurse doesn't sell doesn't sell you stuff, but instead she sort of uh, she heals you. You can pay her to heal you. Like when you die and you respawn, you have you have less HP than usual, and so you could use her to refill all your HP. Now in here, I'm also going to put the heavy workbench. Why is my hammer down there? All right, grab that heavy workbench. And I'm just gonna put it on, on your table, is that okay? I'm just gonna put that in your room. Heck, kidding. You know, um, hold up a second. Since that's the gunsmith, I'm gonna have like a little extension that looks like he built it himself, you know? So it's gonna be like out of a different material and stuff. Hey, let's use hay. Or how about stone? Stone will look nice. So, just add a little stone extension here, so it looks like he built it himself. Now I'm going to need to make some, some stink, some, I can't speak, some walls, jeez, <laughs> I need to make some walls. Um, since you're a heavy workbench, ah, uh, I can craft some walls on you because you an advanced workbench. Now, another thing, I'm going to need my little lamp thingy that I got from the dungeon. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The steampunk lantern. That'd look good in his little extension thing. There we go. Yeah. That looks nice. <laughs> Alright. Let's go find that meteorite. Uh, I'm going to go look for the meteorite. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I am back. And I, I certainly didn't find the meteorite. It's Now, it could be two things. It could either be on the other side, or it could be behind the dungeon. I really don't want to go over the dungeon. That's kind of a drop I don't want to build down, even though I have a bunch of ropes. Good news is, though, look who's here. He's got the arms dealer. So let's put him in his little house there. And, yeah, um, that's really all I wanted to, that's really the reason I made, I ended the cut here, you know. So I'm going to go back searching for that meteorite. I'll be back with you in a bit.
Alright guys, I'm back and I found the meteorite. It literally landed right behind the dungeon. Which is convenient yet annoying. Yeah, it always it always lands near the dungeon. These guys are my worst enemies. Uh, I forget what they're called. Let me check. Don't touch the meteorite, by the way. Um, they are called meteor heads. They are so annoying. They do quite a bit of damage to you as well. Now, now when these guys show up during boss fights, especially, like most especially during uh, Skeletron Prime, they make it a rough time. Yeah, I can't actually mine this stuff unless I have at least, a, a, unless I have a pickaxe at least as strong as I guess at least as strong as the golden pickaxe, but you can blow the stuff up and get it that way. So I head all the way back over there. Uh, I'll see you guys when I've collected all the meteorite. All right, guys, I am back, and we got it. We got the whole meteor suit and the space gun. Yeah, this is a space gun. It doesn't do as much damage as the musket, but the meteor set reduces the mana cost of the space gun by 50%. And so it still it it shoots it shoots really fast for like early game, you know. So it has more DPS than the than the musket. See, and I accidentally crapped another meteor helmet when trying to craft the space gun. So, I still have 15 meteorite bars left over. And I'm just going to store it in the chest. That's explosives, but whatever. You can have my sticky bombs back. And here I can put my rope coils. And uh, shop and the muskets of material. What does it craft? And it crafts the plasma rifle. All right, it is post moon mode. It is way post moon mode. Okay, what the heck? I want that back. Now the space gun makes the magma cannon also a material. I need granite, obsidian, and amber and the space gun to get the magma cannon. Concentrated blast of energy. Mm. Slow speed. It does the exact same amount of damage as the regular space gun. Except this is very fast speed and weak knockback. This has slow speed and weak knockback. It uses... Oh, and it's a depth, so it reduces the mana cost even more. So I think it originally do... Let's see. How much would it originally take? Six mana. So, there's no point in crafting the magma gun. I got it. Okay. So, I can just sell these. I'm keeping the musket, though. Hello. You can have this trash. Alright. One sec, guys. Alright. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, get off for a little bit. I'll be right back. Um.
how do I get on? I'm recording. How get out, I'm recording. recording! Get out, he's recording! Get out! Be quiet! Then. I will, I found you by the Close the door. Oh, you're standing on it. Mm. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I feel like a monster killing these guys. They're so innocent. Josh, why'd you make me kill them? Oh, because... Swimming into the piggy army. Hmm. Bacon? Bacon? Whoa. Wait, did I just get... I just got ten gold. Ten bacon. What is bacon? Oh, it's just... Minor improvements to all stats. Mm, for 30 minutes. Nice. Mm. Alright. Yeah, I'm just having a little ice cream sandwich right now. Blue Bunny. Not sponsored. Yeah, this is my sister, by the way. She's also having an ice cream sandwich. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what we should do now. I'm guessing we fight the next boss huh the desert scourge yeah and to fight him we need a desert medallion hmm And my room is crowded now. Alright. I was in backup. This is my spot. Alright. Is it the thing that needed? Okay. Yeah, just a little pause there. Eating, you know, takes time. Oh, Effort. Golden, golden. golden buddy, golden buddy, yeah, 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 Golden bunny, I can sell that. <laughs> I'm selling animals. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, you want it stuffed or? <laughs> That's so bad. Kids, don't be taxidermists. Or poachers. Poachers are worse. True. Well, dude, make the entire meteorite set. Mm -hmm. What does it look like I made? Anyway. Alright. I need to deposit this money. Mm -hmm. Wait, that means you can infinitely use the space gun, right? Mm -hmm. No, it just, re just reduces it down 50%. On console, it's 100%. Really? Well, no way. Okay. I feel like spamming the wrong set keyboard. <laughs> yeah. mm. Alright, I need to find like a proper cave because I need to. You know what I need to do? I need to go to the desert. Because if I go to the desert, I get the materials for a desert medallion. What's that? Uh, so I can summon the desert scourge. Mm. Calamity only boss. Ow. 
Are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, true. You do have the space gun. Yeah. Give him a minute for this year's space gun. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay, Garfield's here. What are you doing? <laughs> Where is Sam? I got the second best. Fabric. I got the second best armor set in the game. So, Josh, which do you think is better, the musket or the space gun? Space gun. Okay. <laughs> It's like four times the fire rate and yeah. just a little bit less damage. So. And he plays monster. <laughs> Don't comment, Allie. We told you to be quiet. <laughs> oh, and technically it's minus sixty-four percent because this is already minus fourteen percent. Plus bonuses. Mm -hmm. No. This increased ma Wait. magic attack damage. Yeah, seven percent. What about that? Uh, vanity item. So put it in vanity. Except I can't. Just put it like that. Uh -huh. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> <coughs> Replace the radar. Ow. It's pointless. No, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I accidentally muted my mic for it. <coughs> I'm an animal killer. Yo <laughs> Yeah. Yo <coughs> Stop. Alec, we told you to be quiet. No. It's fine. <coughs> Minus twenty three damage on the helmet. No, not that bad. Ah, <laughs> there he is. Snyderian. Big chungus. Magic one. Oh, this is kind of easy. Oh, he's only got four hundred. Oh, this is easy, yeah. <laughs> Water bowl. W you don't Nah, 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 nah. They look like Ho Hokage from Naruto. Oh yeah, I also got an umbrella hat. It doesn't do anything except Dad, vanity, you know. Dad, doesn't he look like Hokage? No. Why? Because I said so. Really? Yeah, Snyder on his little mini really? boss like guy Lando thingy. Kage. <clears throat> and he drops a bunch of Victory ocean. Victory shards, dude. And he drops a bunch of like oceany awesome. stuff. Victory shards are great. Yeah. yeah. He drops a bunch of like oceany stuff, and you'll know why later. Oh hell! Oh uh, great! I'm gonna have to find a way to dig into the desert caves. I need a I need a storm lion mandible. Mm. Oh, I thought that was a duck riding a. Goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> it is a duck. No. But we thought it was riding a goldfish. Ow! I didn't even lie down. Now, if we go too far down, there is a chance we could come across another place. Oh, is it that water place finally? Yes, and that no. is why he dropped a bunch of water-based stuff. No, that only, no, you can only go there after you defeat the Desert Scourge. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Whoa, that? are you okay, Sonic? What? No, I don't know. Please cut that out. part out, please. <laughs> what? Can you please cut that part out? <laughs> what are you thinking, Sonic? No, I'm not cutting it out. Please! <laughs> Just to embarrass you. No! Guys, don't embarrass me, please. Uh, uh, don't. <laughs> I'm, not that out. I'm not cutting that out either, man. No, I'm sorry. I'm You've sorry. embarrassed yourself forever. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the thermo crafter. What do I mean, the thermo crafter? So, I know exactly what why did I throw that? Dun, dun, dun. Mean. Hi, you just embarrassed yourself. You're not cutting that out. Oh, I don't so care about that. Uh, why didn't I sell this? Oh, no. Dude, wait, no. Oh, oh yeah, it crashed something. Yeah, it's a material. <laughs> For, like, an OP weapon that does, like, over 500 damage. This. That's a little kind of OP. Yeah, I need to find what? a... I need to find a storm lion. So I can craft the desert medallion. 
There's some tongues here. I don't really need it, though. Yeah, I can't believe this early in the game, and I'm and I'm oh, there's a storm lion. Now they can be annoying because they can stun you if they hit you. No, just wait. Actually, I've got a oh, better idea. Oh, you can bounce with the water ball. Yeah, just hit bounce. Rock, no, that's that. There you go. Hold it down, dude. That's a hit. All right, there you go. Boink. Kill Did I get the mandible? Mm -hmm. Ah, inventory. Jeez. Nope. No. Sadly. Wait, what is it? Is this? Is it just a blue antlion mandible? Um. Let's see. Um, no, it's not. Oh, that's what, wait, go into your inventory, I think I saw one. No, I just have a regular mandible. Okay. <clears throat> you also need three normal mandibles of luck, though. I wish I had a more private recording area, you know. Okay, I got the mandible. I got the mandible. I can leave now. That's demonite ore, by the way. Anyway, we can leave now. <clears throat> Alright, I need to go up to my chest. I got it! Okay, I need to go up to my chest. Where are my regular antlion mandibles? Other chest. <laughs> uh, it's the only chest where I put them. Oh. <laughs> you don't have any. No! Right, I'm right. Well, That's not check, fair. Check the guide chest. Just check all the chests. Just check all the chests, even though I know I never put them in one. You never these. know. <clears throat> I mean, you never know. Right, lead. Right. You never know. Lead bullet. Wait, bar. Lead it's bar, not a lead bar, bullet. Bar, bar, bar. What? Bar, 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 bar. Oh. oh, it is a lead bar. Lead oh, bar. no, just just quick stack. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ah ha. That's <laughs> funny. Uh. Well, that means I don't have any antlion mandibles in my chest. So I'm gonna have to. <laughs> okay, stop. It's not funny. You're making yourself look bad. I will delete your YouTube channel. We don't even know the password. I don't care. I have hacking ability. What? I have snake, snake arms. arms. Link to video in description, even though it's not my channel. Yeet. I will not tell you what it is. Yeet. Oh yeah, about this. Dominique. Okay, that's almost my name. Anyway, um, I didn't find any way to fit the heavy workbench into this guy's house. So I'm like, huh, since he's the weapons dealer, since he's the arms dealer, how about it's like he built his own little, he built his own little, um, Make fence. um, extension. And like, I even put a little lantern there, you know, a steampunk lantern. I am not really an art guy or like a decoration guy when it comes to these games, you know? Yeah. You're supposed to back me up. What? Oh, wait, I guess you are technically backing me up by saying I don't. Yeah. Okay, like, let's see. How long am I recording? Uh, I've got like an hour and a half of footage right now. Well, okay. But I'm going to reduce that to like 20 minutes. So. So you will get a separate video. Biggest so you can make it. <clears throat> no, I'm just going to erase a bunch of parts. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of unnecessary content. Yes, yes. a lot of unnecessary content. Mining. Skip all the mining things. The meteorite took like ten minutes. Oh my gosh. I quit that part out. 
I usually cut out most of the mining. traveling and mining mm -hmm. and stuff, you know. The mining is boring. Unless during the travel we talk tons of times, like for this one, like this time period. Yeah. Now guys, this will not be my only series on Calamity Mod. Nope, we're probably gonna do like extra mode, then revengeance. Yeah, extra mode, then revengeance. And then yeah, I talked about all that and like in death mode and stuff, and I talked about all that stuff at the beginning of the series, you know? <laughs> Why'd I say that? Why? I'm just teasing myself because I can't tell. Mm. Well. Yay! Yeah, Slime Staff is kind of OP. <laughs> eh, it is early game. It's still OP, like, still a 5... Go away! Still 5 DPS, no matter what. It takes, like, but it... Whenever I'm fighting an enemy, or like a big enemy, Get since the there's since there's a damage cooldown, while it's hurting, while it's attached to the enemy and killing it, I'm not able to hurt the enemy. Oh yeah, that's the thing with the starter dragon that I don't like. It's not with the starter dragon. Yes, though. it is. No. Yes, it is. Oh, there's an ant. I'm in a storm lion. Hey, hey I, I just got like well, exactly I mean, what I needed. Might as well just in case you fail. Get three more just in case you fail. Oh, I didn't even drop it. Wait, manual claws! Wait, where? Look, right! No way! Yeah, you guys want to see what the mandible claws do? Look at this. Yeah. Turn, Insanely they fast. They you to turn your volume all the way up. No. <laughs> I dare you turn your ball. Yeah, it has weak knockback. <clears throat> That's ah. amazing. <laughs> I wish I had a DPS meter. Yeah, there's also the crimson claws that are like that. Fight me, boy. Look yeah. at that. Oh, huh. Well, let's leave. Wait, this. question. How do you get steampunk wings again? Oh, you buy from the steampunk wings. When, where, how? There's a channel that she was just telling it. After you defeat one of the mechanical bosses. But it's literally. One of the it's, best. It's it's the ever. second best. No. Pair of wings in no. the game. No, it's not. You're a liar. No, it's almost as good as the solar wings. No, it's not. Spoiler alert, by the way. No, it's not. Those are so dumb. No, I'm not. You're like, wrong. No, because I watched like 50 wing guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's head back now. And I need sand, don't I? I have sand. What else do I need? Uh... Okay, what else do I need? Cacti. Cacti. Okay. <laughs> Why? Alright. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because you kind of poked you a little bit. You got no cacti. Oh, no! Check the, check the top. Because it's not really a building block. It is, that's where I put it. See? Give me one second. I may have a second floor. Oh, and she's back. Yeah, that was more to you. We have a kitten here in our arms. Oh, that was. It's killing me. Okay. Yeah, that's our little kitten. And since my webcam is trash, you can barely see it. Alright, so in housing, anyone new? No. Yeah, our little kitten. Raised since she was a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, everything is raised since they're a baby. Eh, not all the time. Unless Shut up, Josh. School isn't until next week. Unless they died in the process of being born. So. 
Oh, speaking of school, there's a back to school. There's a back to school Wait, sale oh. on my merchandise. If I had merchandise. But she does. I have merchandise. I can't sell any of it yet, though. And Yay. it's a cat merchandise. No, it's, not. it's not cat merchandise. But come and check it out. Because if no. you want to see my merchandise, you don't have, you don't have merchandise. merchandise. You don't even have a channel. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 hilarious. So you don't even have merch yet. And I need my yes, permission. I do. John doesn't have merch. He well, it does not release. I can't release it yet. You can't release it yet. You're not old enough. Let me see. Don't I'm not old enough to sell any of my merch. Can I he see doesn't it? have a permit. Can I see it at least, Dominic? Mm. You've already seen it, haven't you? No, I have it. Oh, Is there it? are all my lesser healing potions. <laughs> and all your mushrooms. Oh, yeah, why is it moving? Stop, stop. I'm going to bite that. What are you doing? Climb train. Oh yeah, true. It is kind of satisfying to do that. And the board. When you see the board. <laughs> I'm good. Get on my feet. Get on my feet. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, time. <laughs> The kitten just spotted on Josh's face. Ew. <laughs> Alright, now time to go to the desert. <laughs> Pick a spot. Pick a spot. Right there. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, censored. Too much kitty. You put that, right? He You're put seeing it. too much kitty. Oh, bro, be forced to mute my mic. Like right, I'm just cutting this out. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh! Ah, no, don't, don't, don't! Is that a bird? <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> be quiet. Get out. Okay. I'm, okay, I'll get out. Well, you get out. Sorry about that. No, no, no. I'm not cutting it back in until I get to where I need to go. As in the so desert. <laughs> so do you have a? What do you even look like on the camera? Josh, they can't even see you. Sad. <laughs> Hello, I need a friend. I need a friend. <laughs> you heard that? I need a friend. <laughs> oh. There's <laughs> <laughs> no claw getting your eyes. Mm -mm. That, was, that was your butt. <laughs> Damn. Oh, God, I get eyes. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> squish, squish. If you do that, she'll poop on you. <laughs> she'll go up to you and pee in your face. She <laughs> will it really well. Yeah, yeah like Smokey. She, he, I accidentally squished him and I'm like, eh! Oh, and, then, and then, and then, and Josh, and then, and then peeing. Smokey went in the, my closet, remember? And then, he peed. Yeah, when Josh, I... Josh, an overhaul, this down. thing is fully automatic. Josh, I, I squeezed. I'm gonna go. Josh, Leave. Okay. Alright guys, I am back. Sorry for the little interruption, but they're gone now. Now I'm back here to look for cacti. Luckily there are some up here, according to the map. Now, a trick to mining cacti, instead of mining them from the base. Okay, this thing's getting annoying. Alright. Now instead of mining them from the base, you want to mine them below the base. Because it's quicker. Because like if you mine them at the base, 
it's slower. But here, boom. Anyway, I've got what I need. Alright. Now, to craft what I need to craft on an anvil. Alright. Boom. Alright. Get ready for the fight of your lives. Really the second fight of the whole game. I need to sell this. I can't sell it to you. You can have this musket. No, I don't need that musket back. Keep forgetting I need it. Okay, now this chest is going to be called Weapons and such all right so okay save you can have that you can have this this and that what else do you need oh uh, yes you can have that what the heck does this even make star fury you can make star fury with the platinum broadsword Eh. Now, yeah, the magnum rounds, I need to go in there. I guess I could go with that. Need that with there. That. Now, I need my potions. Iron skin swiftness. And I guess I'm ready for the fight. Now I just gotta make sure my controls are correct. Um, quick buff is still B, okay. All right, you ready for this, guys? I'm sure I am. I'm not really sure though. Should I use the space gun? I need my brother. He's a Terraria expert. I'm actually gonna take that and just make another quick buff. Yay, more mana! Alright, let's just get over this desert biome. And if I do die, it's not that expensive to make it, you know? And I can always regrow cacti.
Yeah, Desert Scourge is a big worm. Literally, he's like a big centipede thingy. I think I have a plan. I'll hit him with my water bolt and switch to space guns. Now, I only have two really good potions that will actually help, you know. My heart is racing right now. Alright, here's the desert. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. I am taking a lot of damage here. This does a lot. That did so much damage. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Ocean Crest. Ooh, water breathing. I'm shocked. That did so much damage. Oh, wow. I don't remember it doing so much damage. Baronade. Oh, that's cool. Sonar potion. Detects hooked fish. Seabon staff. A brittle star to fight for you. Oh, that's cool. I need to equip that. And I can replace it with my Agra. What else did I get? Desert Scourge Mask. Oh, whatever. Wait, I thought I was supposed to get like a lore bubble thingy. That tells me about like the lo Ah, the Desert Scourge right there. Did I get one about the Slime King? Oh, what the uh, weather radar or weather radio tells me the wind speed and everything. Did I get a lore for King Slime? Angler hat increases fishing level at 13. Victory shards, angler earring increases fishing skill. I did not expect it to do that much damage. Jeez. And I'm out of arrows. Okay. I don't really need that bow, though. I have something way better. I have a water bowl and the adept space gun. Okay, I was a lot. I was way more worried than I should have been. Okay, Eugene. All right, you can have Baronade and uh, ooh, eleven summon damage. Eight summon damage. Uses ten mana. Uses ten mana. Very weak knockback. Very weak knockback. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to sell you. You can have the earring and the weather radar and the angler hat and the at. Oh, it's a material. Not the lore. Can I have the umbrella hat? 
It's not bad, even though it doesn't s sell for anything. I didn't even use my buffs. <laughs> Let's see, what else did I want to sell? Can I have the hook? Nah, I, mean, I may need that. But yeah, now there's a whole new biome underneath the desert. It's huge. Alright, now. Something. Um, can I craft a suspicious looking eye? With six lenses and a demon altar. I can, I can do that. I can do that. I have eight lenses. I just gotta find a piggy. <gasps> ooh, ooh, golden bunny, golden bunny, golden bunny. Yay. Or golden squirrel. What's wrong with me? Eugene. Oh, and I need to put my savings back in my piggy bank. Sixty gold. That's a lot of gold. Ammo for what? I don't know what the magnum runs do. Obviously for a magnum, but it does eighty damage itself. But I can't shoot it out of my musket or anything, you know. I don't know what it's for. That was a lot easier than I expected. Alright, I need to get down here. I am a terrible person, but I need the bacon. Twelve gold. Okay. Now I've got seventy-two gold in total. What? Hey, that means there's a planetoid up here, or it bounced off a tree. Whatever. Oh well. Oh, jeez, my mouse pad is falling off. All right, let's see here. Eh. All right, I need to find a demon altar because with that I can craft a suspicious looking eye and I can fight the Eye of Cthulhu, which is the next boss on our list. Or a one third chance nightly if over 200p. Like if I have over 200 HP, there's a one out of th there's a one third of a chance, like or like a 33 percent chance that the Eye of Cthulhu would spawn naturally. One third. That's actually a lot. One one out of three chance. Yeah, that's not, that's not at one third of a percent. No, 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 no. That is 33%. That's a lot. That's, all right. I'm, uh, I know there's a demon altar. Ah, you know what? There's a demon altar in the corruption. It's closer and it's easier to get to. I am overpowered, man. Or at least for this early game part. Yeah, the Desert Scourge is a Calamity Mod exclusive boss. Dude, we're, now we're making some progress, man. Alright. Yeah, I have my own key bind. Excuse me. I have my own key bindings. 
for Terraria. You can customize the key binding as much as you want. Like, I have V for that down. Oh, you can't really see it. I have V for this, you know? For my uh, recipe browser, you know? And, uh, okay, and uh, um, mouse button four. I have I have five buttons on my mouse. Mouse button four is the grapple hook, just the grapple, you know. And then five, which is the back button on my on my mouse. Uh, that is my healing item. Be it a potion or a mushroom, if it heals me. Whatever is closest to the top, I think. That's what it would use. Now I'm just testing. If, if that water bolt comes back or ricochets, then there's a planetoid. There's a planetoid over here then. That's what that would mean. See, not only am I using it to kill enemies, but I'm also using it to find planetoids. And like islands and stuff. Well, no planetoid there, or floating island. Yeah, planetoids are calamity exclusive, but floating cloud islands are not. Alright, we should be entering the corruption scene. Yeah, right over here. Yeah, just past this living wood tree is the corruption. And yeah, the corruption spreads. Did you know that? The corruption slash crimson slash evil of your world spreads. And that's an Abonian blight, blight slime. Eh, they're not too hard to kill. Sorry, thing. What? I didn't know they could drop that. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, something came up. I just had to turn off my webcam real quick. It wasn't anything too serious. See, remember when I said I don't really have a private recording space? That's It's my bedroom. And I do not want to fight that thing yet. What's wrong with me? I'm going to go over that. I'm just going to head back to that original hole that I was in. doesn't really matter which little chasm. But I know for sure that there is a uh, there is a demon altar down here, and my brother is back. And Josh, did you know that an eater of souls can drop an ancient shadow scale mail? Yep. Really? I got an entire set from it. No way. I I didn't know that. See, he's he's a terrific expert, and there is a devourer. And I'm just uh, turning off my webcam right now and muting my mic, so.
Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, um, but like, it wasn't completely pointless because there was still video stuff. I can't believe I died to the X2. Anyway, yeah, the desert of Scourge lore. We've got to read it. The, the, great, the great sea worm appears to have survived the extreme heat and has even adapted to it. What used to be a majestic beast swimming through the water has now become a dried up and, glut and gluttonous husk. Constantly on a ferocious search for the next meal. Place in your inventory for an increase of defense while in the desert or sunken sea. Oh, I didn't know it did that. I, th I thought it was just... Oh, okay. Now let's see if I can find the lore for King Slime. I think I actually... I think I accidentally trashed it. That's unfortunate. Well, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and ding that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Once again, guys, my name is Jimmy Crafter. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Oh, and before you go, big shout-out to my friend, Things With Nate. Link in the description. All right, now have a good day.